According to the indictments, Gary Shalafoe began abusing the boy when the child was just five years old. Shalafoe, according to police, was homeless when the sexual assaults began back in January of 2015. He was couch surfing, staying wherever people would let him. Officials say it was while he was staying with the family in Concord that Shalafoe, who is a registered sex offender, took advantage of the situation. The indictments, which include five counts of aggravated felonious sexual assault and 18 counts of felonious sexual assault, say that the abuse lasted for 15 months until May of 2016. But officials say Shalafo did more than just sexually assault the child. He also recorded the assaults. As a result, Shalafo also faces 21 felony charges for the manufacture of child pornography. At the time of Shalafo's arrest, police said they were looking into the possibility that there were more victims. However, all these charges relate to the one victim. However, Shalafo is also charged with failing to tell police he had two online accounts, a Facebook page and a Gmail account, something as a registered sex offender he was required to do. Shalafo has been in jail since his arrest in December. He's expected to be arraigned soon. Reporting live in the newsroom, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.